Hey, Igor, how's it going? Have I really already been going for an hour? Time flies, dude. I don't think we're gonna do the palace today. Might do the palace next stream. Most likely we'll get into the palace next stream. I was looking, by the way, chat, at the old Persona 5 Royal playthrough, the first one I did on the channel when the game first came out, and we are a little bit ahead of that one. I think I'm like... I think right now I'm playing the game like six or seven parts faster. I remember checking, and we first... Not the first time we go into Shido's Palace, but I started Shido's Palace, so the next time, in this playthrough, the next time we go into it, I think it was part 301, I started going through the palace to finish it. So, this should be coming up on, like, we should be at, like, part 280 or something right now? But when I went through the palace in the other one, I spent a bunch of days beforehand doing confidant stuff. So, we're at, we're probably... I think, like, I think I checked the Sai Nijima, like, when I finished Sai's boss and all, and it was, like... Roughly, uh, roughly like six videos ahead. So I'm playing a little bit faster this time so, around, but not be? incredibly faster. What are your stats? All right, so you're other than your luck, you're close to 50 on everything. And then you, you're actually catching up to Arsene a little bit, which is good, although you're one level ahead of him. Let's put Ariadne in there because her stats are still a little gonna further like behind, incense? not counting her luck. Which incense are you gonna What's like? that Nirvana one I got? Those are the plus threes, okay. We definitely want to use Nirvana luck on our Sen. I wish I had like magic agility. Let's let's do this plus two agility for for Ariadne. That's her lowest stat. There you go, Ariadne. Ariadne, however it's actually pronounced. You handle this. Regist are you sure? Do any registering we need to do. And then you know what? Let me let me see about this gallows real quick. I need Harity to get one level up. Will this be enough? No, you need 10k. Uh what if I sacrifice Garuda? That will do. Oh, that's way more than I need. What about uh what about White Rider? That will do. That'll do this it. Let's do White Rider. You will gain. Then let us Get in there. Maybe it's a change to Royal, but I don't think this deadline gets you straight to the deadline after beating the boss. I don't know. I'm pretty sure in OG Persona 5 it would. Maybe they changed it? You don't need any of these, really. Did I get rid of Fire Boost? I got rid of Fire Boost and that's the move you got? That's funny. That's very funny. Now, if I'm not mistaken... Hey, there's Hanuman and Yamato no Orochi. Yadagarasu! I'm level 56. The Pale Rider. But not impressive. We should wait for a fusion alarm before doing this. Hey, there's uh, Sukiyomi. That's uh, good old, good old, uh, what's his name? Minazuki's persona. I wanted to. Let us begin the search. Izanagi? Oh, is this okay, Mangetsu okay. Izanagi? Yeah, it's uh, a dodgies. What I actually wanted to look at okay, was advanced then. fusion, and we need new. We gotta get to level 70, friggin' 6. We don't even have Saryu, he's a level 62 counselor. Okay. Well, we're we're getting to core you. Michael! Who put Michael in the game? What we need is bugs. You okay with this? Yes. Select the skills you'd like to inherit. Sure, take Relentless. Why not? It's very good. Um Sayo. Samurai Karm, you have to have that. Oh my word, all of the boosts. Take Psy boost, I guess. And Augie out. will receive of my, my. Hey. It's a bear. It's a bear that has got some major issues going on. Triple down is amazing. You don't need Sayo. If you have Sayo Dine, I didn't even realize. Alright, cool. And then I don't remember what move we need on set, so we're gonna hold off on that. Alright, I'm out of here. See ya. No slacking off. 
So now we have, the next time we go into the Velvet Room, it'll rank up the twins to nine, and then we just have to get Seth to get them to rank 10, and we have to rank them up in this deadline. Let's get out of here. Okay. All right, Joker, let's retreat. Yeah, Teddy ain't looking so good these days, you're right. Yo. I am back, hello. I started watching your arena playthrough and you were complaining about the recap parts at the start, but that I think was for the Guilty peer, uh, Gear people. First of all, I don't care who it was for. It was very ridiculous. You're playing what is technically a sequel to another video game. Whether you played it or not, the game should just assume that you've seen it or heard about it, that you don't need all of this background info for it. Second of all, they repeatedly in each story give background over and over again, which is really annoying. If they were gonna do it at all, they only needed to do it in Narukami's episode and then never again. So, I don't care what the reason for it was, it was stupid and annoying. Oh, you're back! So this is it, huh? Don't worry. I'm not worried. Do what you need to, I'll try to help any way I can. Just don't be reckless, got it? Love coffee, daddy. That palace is an accurate portrayal of Shido's nature. What do you mean? I have to agree. I'm sure he's quite used to traveling, especially on extravagant ships. And it should be obvious he's not using his own money for it. There are all sorts of rumors online. Oh, I get it. He's using tax money. Not cool, Shido. I think he believes that which belongs to others in turn belongs to him. Even people's lives. And that is correct. This country will be a miserable place if Shido becomes prime minister. Let's change his heart. Right. We gotta pay him back for what he did to Akira too. We gotta pay him back for stealing Ryuji's elevator. There's something to do if you interact with the bed in the Velvet Room now that you've started Shido's Palace. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Hey. Bum, 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 bum. Hey. I know I'm tired from being in the Metaverse. Cat, that's why I want to call Kawakami. How dare you? Well, let's try and make some more curry, I guess. Hmm. Bum, bum. Nope, never mind. We're out of curry ingredients. Let's make some hey. coffee, then. Yo. Ba -bum, ba -bum. Oh. I love the smell of good coffee. Yes. All right. Success. Fist pump. We're loaded on SP items. Looks like the chief gentlemanly charm is rubbing off on you. This is why I never bother with Haru's vegetable stuff. Like, by the point you get Haru unlocked in the game for her SP vegetables, I, it's just like, I don't need them at that point. It's just, uh, they would have been more helpful way earlier in the game. <laughs> Looks like you're at it again. How's it going? Here, I'll have a sip. How you like it, Coffee Daddy? Tell me how you really mm. feel. This is Mocha Matari. Let me explain. Mocha is a port town in the Republic of Yemen, where both Yemeni coffee and Ethiopian mocha harar are exported. Where have I heard this before? Mocha Matari has a complex spicy and chocolate flavor profile with a heavy, whiny body to complement it. <sighs> Not bad. Worth a compliment. Let's go! Gamer moments. I like your coffee. I'm overjoyed to have a company. Yeah, we read this before when we made coffee. Well then. Sorry, I know you're tired. It'll be a sec, just hear me out. I've decided what I want to do with Shido after going into his palace. We can't let him run free. If there's a heart we gotta steal, it's definitely gotta be his. What do you- we already decided this before going through his palace. What are you talking about? Uh, that's right, yeah, that's what we all said. Yeah. Man, you knew this whole time, huh? What, the Shido was scum and we needed to stop him? Yeah. I want to avenge you, that's a no-brainer, but that's not it. If we let them run the country, the weak will be totally effed. Isn't it our duty to protect them? Yeah. Remember when I told you that heroes who lurk in the shadows are boring? Well, forget what I said. Those heroes are way cooler. <clears throat> hey, once we change Shido's heart... Uh, no, never mind. Uh, forget it. Let's do it. Let's steal that bastard Shido's heart. I'll do everything I can to make it happen. Thanks for listening to me. See ya. Weird conversation, but okay. 
We literally have one job, Ryuji, and it's not even a job, it's a crime. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Good joke, Necbromancer. Campaign season has begun. I bet it'll be an overwhelming victory for Representative Shido. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna vote for him. Maybe I'll actually vote this time. There aren't many politicians who are like Shido-san. Hey. It's almost time. Were you able to sleep last night? I slept pretty well. Ha! I'm impressed. Whatever happens, you always manage to just shake it off. You're finally facing off against your arch enemy. I know... I know you know this, but don't get impatient. But geez, it's been getting cold lately. We might freeze to death before we can change his heart. Let's look... I can't read. Let's look to see if we can find anything to help us get warm. I can start a fire? <sighs> a heater, huh? Ah, oh, this is good. It's so warm. Hey. Once we take care of Shido... What's wrong? Huh? Well? I was just thinking, this might be the last job for the Phantom Thieves. That's what you think. Royal content says otherwise. Also, there's, even in the OG game, there's one more job after Shido. Everyone's goals and ambitions, they're all linked to taking down Shido. That's how I feel. We all became Phantom Thieves for our own reasons. We weren't just playing around. Outside of the Phantom Thieves, you also have friends who've been helping you. They believe in you. We have an important battle ahead of us, and we only made it all this way because of them. There's no guarantees we'll make it out of this. See them as much as you can so you have no regrets. Yeah, I understand. Akira, I'm with you all the way to the end. Please stop. Striker says hello. Yeah, exactly. The game also got a sequel. This upcoming battle is personal, kid, so we'll do it your way. Now you can fight Shido on your terms. Yeah, nothing personnel, Shido. Wasn't Kurusu, or hasn't Kurusu been taking a lot of days off? I wonder if it's got something to do with his record. Okay, I believe down. I mentioned this before, but Kurusu kun is back at his family's home. It's a personal matter, so don't go spreading rumors. How long can we keep this up? We need to take care of things before we get caught. Hey, are you sure it's okay for him to be down here working right now? I mean, wouldn't it be bad if a Shujin student walked in and saw him? Has a Shujin student that I have not brought here ever shown up at this place? Uh, don't worry about it. Welcome. <gasps> oh, hey, it's a Shujin student. What did I just say? Nah, still fine. Senpai? You, you're not like a stunt double or something, right? What on earth are you talking about? Yeah, it's the real me. I don't know what's happening, but I really hope this isn't a dream. Well, are you pleased? I'm the one who set this up. A little surprise from me to you. Why couldn't I just text her? I've been texting all my other confidants. Why didn't I just text Kasumi and be like, hey, what's up? I'm not dead. Thanks for your help at the palace or whatever. I asked Futaba to do me a favor. And I asked Ryuji to pass the message along to Kasumi. I have her phone number! I knew you'd be wiped out for a while, so I made sure to give you time to recover first. Oh, thank goodness. I'm just so happy. Uh, excuse me, personal space? Your skirt is clipping through my apron? I have a girlfriend. No one cares about my scheme. Your scheme was stupid. You just asked someone to say something, and then they did it. Well... It looks like you know what's been going on with him. Hey, take a seat, why don't you? No reason to stand around. I'm going out for a bit to grab some groceries. I'll let you all get caught up with each other. So you're Yoshizawa-san, right? Well, what's up? <laughs> it's a pleasure meeting you. What's up? Yes, nice to meet you as well, Sakura-san. Could you at least figure out whether to be polite or casual? Sh shut up! Don't you underestimate my people anxiety. Mona tells me that you helped him out in that palace a while back. We are awfully grateful for that. Oh no, it was my pleasure. He's usually the one who helps me out. Not only that, I'd promised to repay his kindness to me, no matter what. <gasps> what a refined response. Are we really around the same age? You know, there's something I've wanted to ask you, Yoshizawa. Why were you in that palace in the first place? Better question. How did you work out size keywords? That's... Uh... I'm guessing casino is pretty radical. That, I mean... 
That would be pretty low down on my immediate guesses if I was in their situation. However, I would have gotten Shido's ship one way quicker, just for the record. I was wondering that too. Of course, I'm extra grateful that you saved our leader, but if our plan had somehow leaked, then we need to change our tactics from here on out. It all started about a week ago, when we had lunch together on the roof of the school. Oh, but, but that day's when... I got the feeling that something big was going to take place that day, so... I'm so sorry. I was actually following you the entire time. Wow, rude. Wait, we were tailed there? There are like eight of you. How did none of you notice her? We definitely had no idea about that. It's like night and day compared to when Makoto was following us. I've been considering for a while now. Perhaps I should be fighting alongside you if I have special powers like your senpai. I wondered if an outsider like myself should even get involved. But I couldn't just stand back and do nothing. Thank you. Oh, it was nothing compared to how much you've done for me in the past. Hmm. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but you're not done here yet, are you? Then perhaps I ought to lend you a hand. This is incredibly stupid. They, I am of the firm belief that they absolutely should have let you have Kasumi as a party member for this palace onward. Instead, they only let you have her join the team for the third semester final palace, which I think is lame. You already only get Akechi for two, and then you only get Kasumi for one? They should have let you, they should have included Kasumi in Shido's palace. I am off. Well, we could definitely use the additional firepower, but. I'm thankful for her offer to help, but Shido is more dangerous than any of our previous targets. Stupid! 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 Stupid thought process, stupid reasoning from the devs. If they weren't gonna let Kasumi join you for Shido's palace, they should at least have just made it where Kasumi said she didn't want to join you for the palace. People usually excuse it by saying Atlas would have to make new scenes, but I call boo on that since they already made a bunch of new ones for Akechi and Kasumi and Royal. That's what I'm saying. They would have, there would be so little extra work that they would have to do to let Kasumi be part of it. All they have to do is they have to add in the, um... Really, the only thing they have to do is they just have to add her into any of the boss fight cutscenes at the end of, of Shido's Palace. That's all of the extra work they would have to do. They've already made Kasumi's models and whatnot for combat and all. They could easily splice her into, like, everything else in Shido's Palace because she's just another team member to throw in there. The only thing that it would actually add for them to have to do is any animated cutscenes, which there are, like, three of them that take place during it. I guess you'd probably then also include Kasumi in the end of the Persona 5 stuff with, uh, you know who. For people who haven't seen the game yet, I'm being a little, uh, a little, uh, what's the word? I'm alluding to it rather than just saying it. But again, there's only a handful of animated cutscenes that you just have to throw Kasumi in there. It would be so easy to do. So easy to do. It'd be the wisest to avoid dragging Kasumi into this fight. Wrong! Senpai? I appreciate the offer. And I would accept it if Atlas weren't morons. Well, you say that, but... Honestly, we have no idea what risks you would face. Our enemy this time is more dangerous than anyone else so far. Every previous enemy we fought has been more dangerous than the enemy we fought before them. So, like, this sentence means nothing. Also, we pretty much brought this entire mess down upon ourselves, so... Wrong? This is on us. Wrong? <laughs> what? How? How did we bring this mess down on ourselves? Shido did this. Hello? Dude, I swear, the cat is... I, his his brain is the size of a walnut. We're delighted by the offer, but we really can't drag you into this any further. It really is annoying that they like, hey, look, Persona 5 Royal, there's a new character you can use, but only after you've played over 110 hours of the game, and then you can use her for the last, like, 10 hours of the game. This is actually, like, really stupid. 
They they could have so easily let you have Kasumi and Shido's palace. And then the original final palace of, uh, not palace, but the, the end of Mementos at the end of OG Persona 5. And then also the royal sequence. Moreover, you have something to do yourself, right? Yeah, not join us for this one, but then join us for the next one when we fight an even more dangerous enemy than Shido. You won't see the cat saying like, oh, it's too risky when that one comes around. I believe I'd be acting selfishly if I were to press any further. Very well. I understand your reasoning. If that's nope. the situation, then I'll wait for you to return. The reasoning is stupid? But you have to promise me this. You'll come back safe no matter what. The promises are meant to be broken. Haven't you ever seen The Amazing Spider-Man? I don't ever want to feel as horrible as I did when I thought you... Yeah, bye. I really do believe you. It's time I get going. I've got practice today, as usual. Well, be seeing you. <laughs> 